Welcome everyone to the end of uh, VMworld 2013. It's Wednesday here in San Francisco. Lucky enough to get three minutes with Philip, Senior Channel Manager in North America at Thank LG. You. Thanks very much for your yeah, time. Yeah, no problem. How's the show been? A little exhausted, but it's been good. It's Excellent. been good. Yeah, a lot of traffic this year. And it's been a really good show because LG's got a lot to announce. You know, you've got some new devices coming to the market just sure. recently. Yep. You want to give us a little overview about yeah, that? Yeah, that would be great. So, obviously, um, just to give you a little background, last year we introduced our Terra One product line yep. uh, to the market. Market, right, we offered a 19 inch, 22 inch, and a 23 inch to the market, but we've taken it a step further. Now we're offering a uh, what we call a, uh, a set top box product okay. that we can offer to the channel, very similar to some of our competitors. But we're offering a uh, set top product so for the customers that already have existing monitors and they want to go with a zero client, this would be a perfect option. So this is for a Tier 2 zero, zero yes, client, yes. We're using the Teradici 2321 chipset built into it, and you've also got a new Terra 2 all in one, I believe, as well. We do, we do. Um, in regards to um, our current selection is we actually offer a 23-inch uh, model and a 19-inch model. Okay. So in regards to uh, the 23-inch model, we're offering a IPS technology, right? Yep. Which is interplane switch. Top of the market, best, best of the market. Nobody else is offering that today. What else we're doing is we're offering four USB ports on the bottom, two on the side. Also, what we're doing is, if you look at this model, we're doing actually, they can swivel, pivot. Excellent. So flexibility, depending on what the customer's needs are. Finally, as we're looking at the market and what they're doing with the product, a lot of people like to expand or clone. So we actually have a DVI output. So you actually can take a LG Zero client and then also extend it by taking an LG regular uh, product monitor and actually do dual uh, support, either clone or expansion mode. And I was speaking to one of the product managers down in Australia recently from LG. Yeah. And one of the things I found was nice was that the, the second monitor that you can attach for clone yep. is exactly the same aesthetics and ratio, aspect ratio, correct? Yeah, it's a great, that's a great point. Um, we, at the end of the day, people want to be able to see the same look and feel yeah. you have the zero client with your standard monitor. So that's what we've done. We've taken a step further and then offer that to the channel. So that's a good point. And there's also one unique thing that uh, from a zero client all in one that I believe you now have, and that's a power over Ethernet capability. Yeah, great question. Um, in the market, a lot of people are talking about PoE, PoE Plus. Well, we've taken a step further in the market. We've actually offered UP over E. What is UP over E? It's a universal power over Ethernet, which means that we support up to 60 watts. On average, a product like this is usually averaging about 31 watts versus a normal PC is averaging probably north of 100 plus watts. So from a power consumption perspective, we're offering a capabilities to support UP over E using the Cisco switch in the back end and our adapter to support up to 60 watts. Fantastic. So from a Greenfield side point of view, yep. one less power cord going out, one yep. less plug on the wall. Yep. And also someone going through a network infrastructure upgrade, yep. it's a great time to consider UPOE. And, yeah, let me just add one thing. We actually, uh, we had a customer by the name of University of Portland that was uh, going with a competitor um, for over a year. They came knocking on our door when we introduced the Terra 2 because we were the only provider that was actually supporting UPOE over E. So they tested yeah. it within 24 hours, they came back and actually made a purchase. Fantastic. Yeah. That's all. Look at, and I suppose, you know, customers ask this question all the time, but you know, if I'm looking at a zero client, so what are some of the values of a zero client as you're using it? A repurposed PC sure. or a traditional thing client? Yeah, yeah, so great, great question. So when we look at the market today, people are really looking at VDI as a whole as wide go VDI versus going with an old PC, yeah. right? So when we really look at that as a deep dive on the IT side as they do tech refreshes, they look at uh, power consumption, they look at maintenance, they look at security. Those are all key factors and what's great about the zero client, it basically takes care of all those concerns, right? So, give you an idea, we just did a case study uh, with Mercer University. Um, they were looking at, they've got 41 IT guys, but they've got so many satellite offices, right? So instead of physically having to go to each office, they can do it remotely from the server back end and maintenance all of the devices on the firmware updates, right? Yeah, and use the, the Teradici management console. Yeah, right? use that. Yeah, um, I believe you guys just introduced the uh, the Terra the Mantra uh, 2.0. Uh, we're at 1.8, and yeah. we, we're doing a little bit of a, a closed tech preview for sure. uh, where okay. we're heading on that at the moment. Okay, great. So you know, look, I know it's been a busy afternoon. Yeah. We're not far from all packing up and. Uh, yeah. Trying to get some rest before I believe there's a party. Well, we tonight. got the VMworld party, so uh, yeah. hopefully uh, we'll we'll finish up and I can head home. Excellent. Well, appreciate your time. Yeah, appreciate it. Thanks everyone for coming down, supporting LG, and enjoy the rest of the day. Thank you.